Mr. Khan, I beg a word with you. About what you said last night, that I might be admitted here as a Shaolin. I have given serious thought to the training, knowing very well it would depend on my conduct here, as you have said. You are female. Yes, Master. Why did you not make this clear to me last night, before I spoke? Forgive me, Master. But it did not seem so important a thing compared to the news of Master Tomo and Master Po. It is a very important thing to me. And to me. There is no place for you here, my child. You mean you will not even consider me? That is exactly what I mean. You cannot refuse me. I am the master of monks here. You are master of Shaolin here. I am Shaolin. I have been accepted as Shaolin. You have accepted me, made me welcome. And I have accepted this as a place of sanctuary. You cannot now deny me this place simply because I'm a girl. You are also of mixed blood. And what if Kwai Chain came? We made a single exception in that case. Make another? We have neither the inclination nor the facilities to accommodate nuns at this temple. Then that is a deficiency you now have an opportunity to remedy. I do not regard it as an opportunity. And I certainly do not regard you as a remedy. Every Shaolin has the right to demand and receive a trial of the merit of his cause by combat. Do you deny this? I do not, but... Then I challenge you, Master Khan, to such a trial. Nanchi, I acknowledge your right to a trial of this issue by combat. And I submit my judgment to such a trial for either confirmation or reversal. I plead, however, infirmity of years. And for this combat, I beg to exercise my privilege of appointing a champion to fight you in my place. I appoint as my champion, when he returns, Kwai Chang Kane. 